We're here at a, an airfield about an hour outside of Washington, D.C., uh, conducting the first FAA-sanctioned uh, testing program that will actually put journalists at the hands of drones to test news gathering scenarios. We've got representatives of 15 news media companies going through a training program over the next three weeks. And the goal is to develop data and practices, best practices for the industry and a record of performance, successful performance to show the FAA to relax the regulations. Currently, you have to be a, a private pilot in order to operate um, a drone or an unmanned aerial system. We're trying to get to an industry standard where a journalist, if they go through proper safety certification and where uh, safety is the first priority in, the, in what we're doing here, if a journalist can operate a drone safely, we hope to persuade the FAA that they should allow certification of journalists to be able to take drones out and gather news in the public interest. This is just another tool in news gathering, just like photographers decide, do I use a wide angle to tell the story? Do I use a telephoto to tell the story? We want to see uh, the point come when somebody can say, you know what, I can tell the story better. Going up just a little bit in the air, getting an overall, it will definitely convey to the viewers, uh, to our readers, uh, the significance, the impact of a story that you can't necessarily see from the ground, and it makes it affordable. Unmanned aerial systems, which is the, the, the official name for drones, um, are the latest technology we, we've had over the last hundred years. Photography, we've had computers, we've had the internet, and so UASs, unmanned aerial systems, are the latest wave, and they will allow journalists to tell stories in different ways, in new perspectives, um, and to tell entirely new stories, whether it's the approach of a hurricane in coastal Florida, or the droughts in the southwest, or the riots in a city environment, the uh, UASs will become a new tool and they will be an accepted standard in the coming years. We'd like that to help advance that process through a, a certified training program.